The March 2024 trading post items are now here, and we have a majestic cock mount, or I say peacock mount, I should say. Ooh, kicking off that hype train early. Thank you, Camp Shady. 16 months of sub, and thank you, Camp Shady. Death Knight of our Scourge. Yes, as I said, we got the uh, peacock mount here as the main mainstay of this trading post this month. If you've been wanting a peacock mount, this is your chance to get it. I believe it was available for Thanksgiving event. The, uh, what, are they, what are they called? The feast event in WoW. So if you missed that, this is your chance to get it. Got a couple other items. An umbrella that actually lets you fall, slow fall, using it. Horror Freak, thank you for the bits, man. You guys kicking off a hype train. We also have the Blackrock Executioner. I'd like to read a description on some of these. The deadly armaments of the Blackrock clan were cruel, at, were as cruel as the heat of the Citadel's forges. Check this thing out, man. The story behind it's pretty cool, actually. There's some other, some other stuff in here that's interesting. This looks like it's from Shadowlands. Jeweled Ripper. Bears the seal of Aridathi Crystal Smith Order. Interesting. Uh, we have this gavel here. Oh, this one. Look at this. Corroded Ag Agadir Agar Defender. Look at the description on this thing. A tarnished memory of Archimonde's betrayal. Damn. That's intense as shit. You want to be a betrayer? Get on that. Get it. Yes. Can you please remove the frog in your throat? I just... I'm like getting over SARS and COVID and the flu combined. You bitch. Damn it. You're lucky I'm freaking here. Yeah. Catastrophe's Edge. Uh, don't wield this if you're having a bad day. So today I probably shouldn't wield the sword. That's fine. We won't do that. Um, this trading post, by the way, had brought back a lot of items as well, so if you missed out on any I previous um, things, they do have these two stone mounts as well. We'll talk about those. I think this is the first trading post with three mounts available. Sky Captain's former old tire. Collect the appearance of the Sky Captain, who says a pirate has to be barbaric. Look at that. Look at that. We know 10.2.6 is just around the corner. You want to look like a fancy pirate? This is your chance to do so. <coughs> Yeah, I'm going flying. Um, simple aquatic armor. Okay, this is another cape thing here. Very cool. As I said, they're bringing back. So they got the um, the jade, jelly, the alabaster stem, a storm talion, and the alabaster thunderwing. Those are the other two mounts available. So you got three mounts in total available on this trading post. You can uh, use your trader tender to get them. Got a couple more things. These are returning items here. <clears throat> some interesting stuff, capes, different stuff. Some helms, of course, the Sky Captain's attire. And the things that we just talked about. Very interesting. Nothing too exciting out of this trading post. Again, maybe the uh, the mount is the coolest thing here. Get your peacock. Get it now. Blizzard Community Council is reforging itself, as they say. Yes, the people from 2023 are heading out the door. And a new community council is being assembled for 2024. Applications are in and currently being reviewed. Um, not that I care that much about the community council, but I did think this was interesting for the devs. There currently are a lot of focus on upcoming content that is not yet being publicly examined. Probably 10.2.6 and beyond stuff. Uh, that will shift in the coming weeks as we reveal some things and reopen the public test realms and then commit to the exchange of details and feedback that will come with it. So it looks like in the coming weeks we're about to get some big news. About to get some cool reveals, about to get PTR stuff to test, so that's exciting. Again, 10.2.6, they said they want to keep it a secret. So we're not going to test that one, but whatever gets tested on here could be some pre-war within stuff going on. I'm excited to see this. Um, I want to see freaking uh, the, <clears throat> the dwarf people. What are they called? Those crystallized dwarfs that we're going to get in the war within. I want to see those, see what the character creation screens look for them, look like for them. So maybe we'll get that soon. Moving on. We've talked about this before, so uh, this is the Silvermoon revamp. We've talked about how this is not just going to be a revamp, but essentially a redo. <laughs> Cover your mouth, you dirty rat. <laughs> this is going to be a redo, not just a revamp. Um, but they're completely rebuilding the Silvermoon area, all of Quel'Thalas and everything else, uh, uh, you know, from the ground up. This guy, Cahoon, is a 3D artist, and he's already rendered some of this, what he thinks it could look like. So let's check some of this stuff out. <clears throat> Start at the top here. So this is what this currently looks like. If you ever leveled a Bud Elf, you've, uh, you've been in these zones before. This is the before. This is the after. Oh, damn. Not a big fan of the fog, but 
Uh, look what he did with the uh, with the trees. That looks really nice. I see a difference here. Yeah, the trees definitely have been... Oh my god, these trees are like four polygons right now. I've never noticed how bad they are. Yeah, this area definitely needs a revamp. Yeah, look at those new trees. Oh wow, that's nice. That's some good up trees. And then the fences. Looks like he up the fences too. Yeah, so these are... Oh, he put some lamps. Oh, that's some lampposts. Two out of ten at best. Yeah, I think these are nice. These are nice. Let's see another one here. We got another... Here's another zone right now for the uh, Blood Elves. And here's the up -res version. Again, with the new lamps, new fences, new fence posts. He's got some guards wearing the new uh, Blood Elf Heritage set. So yeah, I do imagine guards reposting, you know, um, kind of uh, the Blood Elves retaking a lot of the lands that have been abandoned. If you look at it before, you know, it's just crates everywhere, broken shit. A lot of this stuff had been abandoned during the, uh, the war and of the scourge and never came back so we want to see some of this stuff you know advance with time of course that makes sense as time passes in the game these things should be fixed um here's another zone here we got this version holy crap this guy completely changed this one this looks like a little theater now what was this before okay it was just a statue here standing we got a withered and then he uh he remade it damn this is pretty cool this insignia up here these flags this looks pretty nice. Again, a lot of this stuff is going to be completely remastered. Remastered and redone. I wouldn't even RP there. <laughs> Jesus. Got some hard critics in the... Here's the uh, Gate of Silver Moon. Uh, revamped here. More trees, more foliage. Yep. Definitely a Without uh, further interruption, a let's celebrate and suck some dick. Well, I guess there could be dick sucking going on here in the new up red zones. But these look good. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm expecting even more. I'm expecting even more. To me, the Blood Elf Zone has always been, uh, the Blood Elf Zones, the Blood Elf Art, Silver Moon itself, have always been one of the nicest assets in the game, and completely underutilized, under-updated, you know, they have, we can't even fly there, right? So I'm excited to see what happens with these things going forward, and, uh, and up Silver Moon, yeah, I'll take that.